Hey, what's up everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Cookie Run Kingdom, and in this video, we're going to use decorations to get even stronger. Here, you can get in the building area, and there's buildings and there's decors. When it comes to decors, those can help you get super strong. So, there's different collections, and some of them aren't necessarily going to give you boost. But, ooh, for example, here we've got a landmark, and this landmark is the TikTok Clow uh, the tick tock clock tower this gives you a eight percent boost on materials and good productions when it's level eight here i've been leveling this up so it's giving me a huge boost i believe at the beginning it was only one percent but the more you level it up the better your boost is so let's get some more decorations and get even stronger here uh next on the list is oh that's not a decoration that gives you any boost there uh where's the next one uh I think the first one is here. Yeah, there we go. The Witches and Ghosts Collection. Here we've got the Eerie Haunted House. And if you get this haunted house, it gives all your cookies a 3% additional crit. So that is definitely going to be worth it. Here, it's going to cost 10 seconds and 10 of these. So let's go ahead and get it. Oh, yeah, it's a big one, but I think it's going to be worth it. Uh, let's see here. I want to put that somewhere over here yeah and right there that looks fabulous oh there we go fabulous and we're gonna build that yeah looking fantastic so here that's gonna take 10 seconds and it shouldn't be too long before it's ready so there we were just in the witches and ghosts category and by the way when you finish a collection of the decorations you get gems so this was the last piece of the puzzle that we needed to get 100 free gems here we've got five out of six so i can't wait to get that completed there and here next up on the menu blade and magic so here this is a little bit different here this landmark it's going to give you a one percent less um uh, trade time on the train station so if ever your train station takes super long that might be really interesting here i don't have enough of my sugar gnomes but this one is ready yes there we go so here this is looking super cool we've got a three percent additional on all cookies crit and we can level it up here it won't take too long but i'll just have to wait until i get an aurora pillar awesome so what's up next let's go back to our buildings here oh and for completing that witch and ghost collection there we're going to be able to get a hundred free gems i love that oh yeah back to the blade and magic collection and here we want the molten magma mountain yeah so here we've got enough of those item items luckily for us and we are going to place this building right over here Ooh, i'm loving these landmarks so here we can go ahead place that right there and i'm going for it oh yeah so that it's going to give us a little bit of a increase on the time that it takes for a train station here i've got all three trains unlocked and i love these i love doing those missions and getting those items so if we can increase the or decrease the amount of time it takes then that's going to be awesome yeah and there we go we just completed that building there and beautiful here for the train station training time uh we can go ahead and level that up right now it's going to take a minute though so i'm going to wait just a minute before we do that here there's another building i want to build now we didn't complete that collection there so no gems but next on my list was the kingdom of snow and ice oh yeah just underneath there now this landmark is a must here the ever uh, ever winter snow globe this is a landmark and it'll give you five percent on all cookies defense but no i don't have enough of the aurora pillars oh no okay so here i'm going to be saving up some aurora pillars for sure so that i have to work on but that is a landmark i definitely need to get that's going to make our cookies stronger for sure so here next up on the menu sculpture park here ooh, this is great but it is going to be an investment in gems and i have been saving my gems for a while now i want to do like the most epic live stream ever here right now i've got sixty-nine thousand gems but here you can get this landmark called dreaming jelly lion statue it's 2400 uh, 2, gems and this will give all cookies a five percent boost on their attack here i think i've got to go for it this landmark is another must for sure here of course i'm going to be making a mess in my little village but we'll clean that up later so oh but i think that's good 
Am I sure? It is a lot of crystals, but I believe it is worth it. Oh yeah, there we go. So that's going to take a couple seconds there. And ooh, I cannot wait. Oh yeah, here things are looking fabulous. And one second away, Patang Yoss Queen. That is awesome. Here we've got the Dreaming jelly lion statue and we've got a five percent boost on all cookies attacks here ooh, that is not too pricey to level up this is definitely a must here it's going to be about a minute but we're going to get a six percent boost so an extra one percent there for six instead of five. Oh, that's awesome okay well here we're getting some pretty cool stuff we were just in sculpture park eh next up yeah saint Pat's order. So here, I don't have this landmark yet, and I don't have enough of the, oh, excuse me, chaos cake pieces. But here, ominous cake tower. This landmark will also give all cookies, uh, oh, it'll give all cookies HP plus 5%. So they'll have extra health power. Here, definitely worth it, but I'm going to have to do a little bit more progress on the tower of chaos there. Super cool. So after that, Starry Night. Where's Starry Night? There it is. Here we've got Starry Night. And this is a beautiful landmark here. This is the Star Candy Observatory. And I don't have enough of the compasses, unfortunately, but this will give you an additional 2% of coins from battles. So that is on my list of things to get in the decoration category. Here, uh, next, uh, Industrial Adventures. Oh, yeah. Here, Balloon Expedition Time. If ever you think it's a little bit long for those balloons, well, this might shorten it a little bit. Here, this is definitely something I want to buy, but oh, I'm short on the Aurora Pillars once again. Okay, bummer, but that's on my list of things to do. Here, that's looking pretty good, and I think that's about it for now. Speaking of things to do, so I watched Ashtoreth Gaming's live stream earlier, and she showed me, uh, Ashtoreth and Mergeling showed me the trading area, which I don't have yet. So I'm super close to getting it here. I'm going to go ahead. We're working on getting this area here so we can go ahead and unlock there. So I can't wait for that. That's going to be super awesome. And uh, yeah, just slowly but surely making our way and trying to crush it more and more. Ooh, here I've wanted to get this going on. Ah, I don't have enough of these items, the enchanted steak just yet. But this is going to give us tastier star jellies definitely something i want to keep leveling up my cookies speaking of are they ready there oh not yet okay well i'll be patient we'll get them eventually awesome hey thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like and if you want to know more about cookie run kingdom click in the top left corner above for my next cookie run kingdom video thanks again and i hope to see you soon take care everybody happy gaming peace